Zero thirty nine, the troops. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful, the book sent down from God, the mighty, the wise, we have sent down the book to thee with the truth. Serve thou God then, and be sincere in thy worship, is not a sincere worship due to God. But they who take others besides him as Lord, saying, We serve them only that they may bring us near to God. God will judge between them concerning that wherein they are at variance. Verily God will not guide him who is a liar and infidel. You know, as long as they're choosing to be that, I think the form of that's in the verb. Had God desired to have a son, he had surely chosen what he pleased out of his own creation. But praise be to him, he is God, the one, the almighty. For truth hath he created the heavens and the earth. It is of him that the night returneth upon the day, and that the day returneth upon the night, and he controlleth the sun and the moon. And so that each speedeth to an appointed goal, is he not the mighty, the gracious? He created you all of one man, and from whom he afterwards formed his wife, and of cattle he hath sent down to you four pairs. In the wombs of your mothers did he create you by creation upon creation in triple darkness. It is he who is God, your Lord. The kingdom is his. There is no God but he. How then are ye so turned aside from him? Suppose ye render him no thanks. Yet forsooth is God rich without you, but he is not pleased with thanklessness in his servants. Yet if he be thankful, he will be pleased with you. The soul burdened with its own work shall not be burdened with the burden of another. Hereafter shall ye return to your Lord, and he will tell you of all your works. For he knoweth the very secrets of your breast. When some trouble toucheth a man, he turneth to his Lord and calleth on him. Yet no sooner hath he enriched him with his favor than he forgetteth him, on whom he before had called, and set it up peers with God, that he may beguile others from his way. Say, Enjoin thou thyself yet a little in thine ingratitude, but thou shalt surely be one of the inmates of the fire. And remember, what's where's that passage in the Bible that has so-called St. Paul saying something along the lines of that he lied and beguiled people into uh, accepting Christianity. That is an absolutely not acceptable form of takia in, this, in actual Islam. Shall he who observeth hours of the night prostrate our standing in devotion, heedful of the life to come, and hoping for the mercy of his Lord, Say, shall they who have knowledge and they who have it not be treated alike in knowledge? In sooth, men of understanding will take the warning. Say, O oh, my believing servants, fear your Lord. For those who do good in this world, there is good, and broad is God's earth. Verily, those who endure with patience shall be repaid. Their reward shall not be by measure. Say, I am bidden to serve God with a sincere worship. 
and I am bidden to be the first of those who surrender themselves to him. Muslim. If someone surrendered by to God. Say, verily, I fear if I rebel against my Lord, the punishment of a great day. Say, God, will I serve, presenting him with a sincere worship, and serve ye what ye choose besides him. Say, the losers truly will be, will they be who shall lose their own souls and their families on the day of resurrection? Is not this the clear ruin? The Berlin papyrus has a, uh... You know, you lose everybody. And that's a theme that occurs in that one. Canopies of fire shall be over them, and floors of fire beneath them. With this doth God alarm his servants. Fear ye me, then all my servants. But good tidings are there for those who shun the worship of Thalgut and are turned to God. Cheer then with good tidings, my servants, who hearken to my word and follow its excellence. They, these are they whom God guideth, and these are men of insight, him then on whom the sentence of punishment hath lighted, but him who to the fire thou canst not rescue canst. Now rescue. Yeah. But for those who fear their Lord, him who is to the fire, canst thou rescue? But for those who fear their Lord are stored pavilions beneath which rivers shall uh, which shall the rivers flow pavilions beneath which shall the rivers flow. It is the promise of God, and God will not fail in his promise. Seest thou not that God setteth down water from heaven, and guideth it along, so as to form springs in the earth, then bringeth forth it by corn of varied sorts, you know, kernels, and then causeth it to wither, and thou seest it become yellow, then crumbleth it away. Lo, herein is teaching for men of insight. Shall he then, whose breast God hath opened to Islam, and who hath light from his Lord? But woe to those whose hearts are hardened against the remembrance of God. They plainly err, and the best of recitals hath God sent down a book in unison with itself and teaching by iteration the very skins of those who fear their lord do creep at it then do their skins and their hearts soften at the remembrance of their lord this is god's guidance by it will he guide whom he pleaseth and whom god shall mislead no guide shall there be for him you know god allows people to be misled if they want to but this verse here, um, I'm trying to figure out where exactly this verse is, but yes, the verse 23 of 39, the uh, sensual verse, where through worship one achieves the inner and outer highs. And yes, our body has over 50 chemicals to produce these highs, so, but got to be authentic, got to be full into it. Guides that are his wills and seems very good. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Shall he who shall have not but his own face to shelter him with from the torment of the punishment on the day of re the resurrection a to the evildoers it shall be said, Taste what ye have earned. And they who were before them said it was a lie, but a punishment came upon them, whence they looked not for it, and God made them taste humiliation in this present life. But greater surely will be the punishment of the life to come, and they but know it. Now have we set before men in this Quran, Every kind of parable for their warning. An Arabic Quran, free from tort 
to us wording to the intent that they may fear God. And God setteth forth the comparison of a man with associates at variance among themselves, and of a man wholly devoted to a man. Are these to be held alike? No. Praise be to God, but the greater part of them understand not. Thou truly shalt die, and they too shall die. Then at the day of resurrection ye shall wrangle with one another in the presence of your Lord. And who acteth more unjustly than he who lieth of God, and treateth the truth when it cometh to him as a lie? Is there not a dwelling place in hell for the infidels? You know, misbelievers. But he who bringeth the truth, and he who believeth it to be the truth, these are the God-fearing. Whatever they shall desire awaiteth them with their Lord. And this is the reward of the righteous, that God may do away the guilt of their worst actions, and for their best actions render them their reward. Is not God all sufficient for his servant? Yet would they scare thee by their idols? Yet would they scare thee by their idols? But no guide shall there be for them, for him whom God misleadeth, and he whom God guideth shall have none to mislead him is not god almighty able to revenge and it sounds weird in english because it's not god that misleads us it's shayatin whether that's part of ourself or whether that's metaphysical shayatin in other human bodies are jinn And whom God guideth us shall none to mislead them is not God Almighty able to revenge. And if thou ask them who hath created the heavens and the earth, you know, heaven isn't the afterlife in Quran. Paradise is something different. They will surely answer God, say, think ye then that they on whom ye call besides God, if God choose to afflict me, who could remove his affliction? Or if he choose to shoot, owe me mercy, could they withhold his mercy? Say, God sufficeth me. In him let the trusting trust. Say, O oh, my people, act your part as best ye can. I too will act mine, and in the end ye shall know. On whom shall light a punishment that shall shame him, and on whom a lasting punishment shall fall? Assuredly we have sent down the book to thee for man, and for the ends of truth, who shall be guided by it. It will be for his own advantage, but whoso shall err, shall only err to his own loss, but not to thy keeping are they entrusted. God taketh souls unto himself at death, and during their sleep, those who do not die, and he retaineth those on which he hath passed the decree of death, but sendeth others back till a time that is fixed. Herein are signs for the reflecting. Have they taken aught besides God as intercessors? Say, what, though they have no